What is up, YouTube? Bunny Films here, and I am back in shipping lanes. Much requested, much video to show. So, I don't know what that meant, but we have a free ship in our collection. So, apparently, the game is free to play now. Absolutely insane. I will admit, I've not played this game in so long. One, because I wanted to take a little break just so there'd be some new content and I'd have some more fun playing, but also because I got busy. So we're here, we have a brand new ship. I have no idea what this is. There's apparently lakes, so cool stuff. But let's go ahead, we're gonna check out this new ship that was added to our collection because we bought it during early access. Or we bought the game during early access. So we're gonna press continue. And look at this, oh, it's the change log. Um, there is a revamp of islands. There's a freighter ship. There's a lake. <laughs> with rocks oh not rocks logs <laughs> excuse me uh, just a lot of other cool stuff you can look at it if you want um but i'm assuming a lot of the mechanics in the game are still the same but if we look at customized ships we have all of our ships we have the bun we have the bun bun we have the bun 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 we have the bun 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 we have the bun 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 we have the bun 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 and we have the fast bun and then we have the sl7 so i don't know what the sl7 is but it's a container ship that's all i know and the only other container ships I have are these two. We have the Bun Bun and we have the SL7. So I don't know how good this ship is, but we're going to get it. So let's do rename ship. Actually, hold on. Back, back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we need seven. So let's rename the ship. Bun, 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 Bun. Oops. Bun, Bun, Bun. Oh, gosh. Oh, they changed how long you can make ship names. Okay, so this is going to be the bun bun, the bun times seven. There we go. In the home port, I don't know what that means. We're just going to rename the ship. Oh, uh, the home. <laughs> it's not even the home port. I uh, will just say uh, America. America. There we go. Ship renamed. Let's go ahead. We're going to press back. We can go ahead and press back again. And let's go ahead. No, I did not mean to do that. Return to menu. Play. Oh, okay. Oh, we can actually compare. So we have uh, the Perth class, and then we have the SL7 class. So uh, if we look... Oh my goodness, this is a big ship. My best uh, container ship held 60 containers. This holds 576. Oh my goodness. Livery. Uh, we'll go with Falcon Express. That's my favorite shipping lane uh, company. Uh, let's see. We'll go to... I don't even know what the map looks like. We'll go to Long Island on there we go oh i'm so excited look at it i own this ship for literally paying robux for this game this is so awesome oh my gosh ship tour time wow look at this deck it is carpet uh if we go down another deck we can go ahead and look more carpet oh there's stairs inside too oh this is so cool i'm so excited for this ship oh look at this this is like the biggest ship I own, and I got it for just playing this game in early access. But this is where all the containers go. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is so big. I can't get over it. And then we have this over here with the, the, the steam. Not steam. I, I'm literally going to butcher every single ship term there is. Also, this is very loud. We're going to go down to volume one. I'm literally going to butcher every single ship term there is. But no, I do it with no malintents <laughs> i just don't know what i'm saying but we have the smokestacks up here so i'm assuming the engines are back here oh we have lifeboats look at that we have lifeboats if we go up look, this is all space i can make little apartments and it's so cool look at that and we can go to the top deck and there's even room for more containers back here this is absolutely insane oh my goodness oh are you sinking my ship Please don't sink my ship. I literally just bought it from the dealer ship. Oh, yeah. Turn around. You better run away. <laughs> um, let's see. We're going to go ahead. We're gonna actually going to... We're not just going to continue, like, walking around the ship and saying, oh, my gosh, how excited I am. Because we actually have a ship to do stuff with. Also, I don't know why. I thought that stair would go all the way to the top. Let's go ahead. Let's hop into the seat. And let's get... I also have... Why are you hitting my ship? Who is, who is this? I'm going to, like knock you out or something i don't know you're very disrespectful so yeah no idea who this is but we're just gonna leave it's the ss cargo i think i still know how to play this game we're gonna go up to we're gonna throttle to what 50 percent why are you so annoying go away 
I mean, my ship health is fine. It's not doing anything. Um, I also don't remember how I got, I think I had $4 million the whole time, right? Yeah, I think I did, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to dock here. Uh, let's see. We're going to throttle down to 0%. We're going to keep turning. Oh gosh. I'm, I'm trying to remember how to play the game. Uh, but I guess one of the consequences of being, it being free to play is the fact that there's like people like this. So this is still so exciting though. It's such a big ship. And we're going to like make some serious cash with it. I've never, I've driven the triple E before, but never like, come on. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to just dock here. We're going to get some cargo and then we're going to go ahead. We're going to go to, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what port we have to go to next. So if we go ahead, and take a look, uh, three fuel ship literally just going from there to here is like 3,700 money. So we'll go ahead. We'll refuel. We're going to exit out of this. We're going to go to manage cargo and oh, look at this. Look at the payouts. That's a lot of money. Uh, let's see. So we can go to, we have a map here. We can look. So right now we're at Long Island where my cursor is. Look at all this. Wow. I think the map's the same. I don't think anything has changed since I last played unless, yeah. The map is still the same. I think, oh yeah, there's a lake here though. That's new. That is all new here, this lake thing. Uh, but uh, the islands are, I think the same. So let's go ahead. We're gonna, we're at Long Island. Let's see what we can do. So we have some pretty big payouts. We have Jamestown, which is where? Oh, it's all the way inside there. I don't wanna go through the locks because I don't know if my ship will fit. And that's not a risk I'm taking right now. Uh, we can go to Bayview. Where's Bayview? Oh, Bayview's right there. And we will literally make $503,000. That's a lot. There's also Emerald Harbor. We can go ahead and go there and make $525,000. But I think it's still sort of worth it to go instead to Bayview. Um, oh, there's New Haven. Where's New Haven? Oh, it's all the way up there. But we make... Oh, there's da where's Davenport? I keep seeing a lot of money, but it also depends like the distance. Where's Davenport? Is it... Oh, Davenport's there. Um, That's a lot of money. It's tempting. I think we'll, we'll just, for starters, we'll learn how to drive the ship. We'll go ahead, we'll load these uh, 576 containers. Look at that. Wow. A lot of containers. So, oh, there's someone on my ship. Hi. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to undock ship. There we go. And there's this ship here, which I'm going to have to wait to go by us before we can go ahead and embark. And now we are off with this massive, massive ship to, where are we going? Bayview Port. Okay, exciting stuff. Let's go ahead and do some time-lapse music. Woohoo! So I don't know if this has always been in the game, but there's waves. Like, look at that. They're actually like big waves too. It's so cool. I, I feel like that's always been in the game, but I don't exactly remember. But it's just like an extra sense of realism, which is like super appreciated by the developers. I really like it. But we're going to go ahead. Oh, and it's so cool because the ship has to go over the waves too. It's not like completely linear. Wow. This is exciting. And I'm also afraid because there's someone, I think there's still someone on the ship, but um, so if I get up, then they'll be able to sit down and like drive the ship, I think. So we're going to just stay in the seat for now. But this is still so awesome. The ship also goes like relatively uh, quickly as well. Like we're literally going 30 knots and that's, that's speedy. Like, yeah, it's speedy. It only took us like maybe five minutes tops to actually get here. Uh, so I, this is a good ship. I like it very much. These waves right now are also pretty large. Like they're literally reaching the top of the deck, which is or not. I don't know. They're reaching like the cargo hold area, but it's still so cool. I love the waves. I can't get over it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep like talking about them, but um, yeah, super cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're almost there. And uh, there's also this tiny ship here. Hello. Um, I love this. I wonder, I think the, I feel like the triple E can carry like 4,000 containers if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, but 
we can look in the store after we go ahead and deliver this load to Bayview. Uh, but still, it'll be awesome to see how this ship does compare to some of the other paid ships in the game. Because this is completely free and it's it's still super awesome. And you can't get it unless you did, again, pay for the game in uh, early access. There's a slight chance we actually do crash because I might have underestimated the momentum of such a large ship. Um... But I have confidence. We're totally not going to hit the ship on the beach, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, I, th this is like as good as ship steering gets. I mean, I think we're about to hit the beach or something. I don't know. Wait, hold on. We to, oh, okay, we're going to hit the beach. Oh, we're... Okay, I think we hit the beach. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we hit the beach. We didn't lose any health, though. We can now dock... And we can make some money, money, money. Woo! Okay. So let's go ahead and let's see what we can do. So ship services, refueling. Okay, we'll factor this into the profit. It's about 50 grand to refuel the ship. We're going to exit that. We're going to go to manage cargo. We can go to switch to unload mode. And here you go. So the payout is $503,000. It took about 10 minutes to drive or yeah, to steer the ship here or to sail here. I don't know. It's not drive, though. I don't think it's called driving your ship. Uh, but it took about 10 minutes. Um, about $445,000 is our... Or yeah, four hundred and actually $55,000 is around our profit. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to unload really quickly. Look at that. I don't know how they're just magically disappearing, but I won't question magic. But we are now... We literally almost have $5 million. If we didn't buy fuel we would have that money. But that is still super awesome. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go to, I guess, return to menu. Actually, we might have to undock first. Oh uh, yeah, return to menu. There we go. I did not read what that box had to say, but let's go ahead, we're gonna look at purchase ships. So there's container ships. So you have, oh yeah, the Tripoli. Oh yeah, I wasn't that, I wasn't off, yeah. So the Tripoli can uh, carry about 4,300 containers, which is a whole lot, but it does go about at half the speed of the SL7. Uh, looking at other container ships, uh, you have the Panamax. I mean, oh, we can afford the Panamax. Oh, that's cool. And the Panamax does have... Wait, what's the capacity? Oh, the capacity is only 576, I think, right? Yeah, I think. So if the, the capacity is 576, the Panamax container ship is like the is better than it, technically. Because it, it, it does go a bit slower, but it does have double the capacity. Uh, so we can technically afford it. But what I've heard is that bulk is a lot better. And I'm just, I think I'm slowly working my way towards this Stort class freighter, which is a really awesome looking ship, by the way. Um, and it looks so awesome. So that's going to be the next ship we do get. Um, eventually, there's also the Cape size, um, which I mean, we can't afford us 15 million. But the next goal is $11,500,000 where we can go ahead. We can get this freighter and then we'll just take a little glance at some of the other ships. Like, oh, look at this. The sea wise giant. What a massive ship. Wow, 100,000 barrels of oil. Wow. And then I guess we could afford the Suez Max tanker. But I think oil is like more risky, but it's also more profitable because if you sink, you lose money. Uh, gas carrier ships. Uh, these also look really awesome. Like, look at this, the Diamond Class LNG carrier. That looks so cool. These all look really cool. I like the big bubbles and stuff. I don't know. Uh, I'm not, I'm not very acquainted with ships, but these, the pictures look cool. So that is it for today's video, everyone. If you did enjoy, consider pressing the like button or subscribing. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. So subscribe so we can hit it later this year. Uh, I do owe a shout out to all of my Discord server boosters and channel members. So shout outs go out to Bean Monkey, Finbar, King Ryan, Niza, Pro Gamer Doggo, Seraph, Smart, Waffle, Will Ball, Will Bolly. I can't remember the, oh, Wal Will Ball is skit the iss and rob ram also if you want to play this game a link to it will be in the description below it is free to play now but that's it have a good day and i'll see you in the next one goodbye